Surprising no one, I like covering the little things that no one else does. Yeah, sure, the next biggest and best stuff get more views, but I quite frankly don't care, folks. I want to discuss what I want to discuss, like the small yet significant stuff, like Ambrosia here. And first things first, it's a mineral. Not a rock. Introduced way back when in the legendary Forgotten Knowledge update, said mineral will eventually be obtained via the ancient archive here. The biome will always be connected to our lunar grottos, which in turn are connected to our blue mush tree forests. So take notes. Upon arrival, the place will be absolutely dead and very easy to navigate. However, that's going to change very quickly following the activation of the ornate pedestals and thus the biome itself. We will be needing a third iridescent gem to do so though, so you best have finished a moonstone event before coming down here and know how to use a deconstruction staff. If you have, good. Your next step will be carefully finding your way past ancient centipedes to one of these puppies, Fountains of Knowledge. Now, there are three versions, all of which are darn useful, and heck, one is even essential to the end game. but the one we're looking for here today is the toilet with red water. You got it? Good again, as it is indeed puzzle time, everyone. Locate what is known as the Ancient Orchestrina here and place down your newfound distilled knowledge ball. Then, play some memory games with a bit of trial and error, as you can see, but finish it up, and the game will open a distilled knowledge, granting you one of three recipes. The Terra Firma Tamper, the Astral Detector, or Collected Dust. The latter being the true prize from all of this. That said, it isn't the easiest thing to make in the world. Furthermore, it isn't actually our ultimate prize. It's just really darn important to it. For you see, with collected dust in hand, we can toss one into an ancient kiln, of which we'll probably be housing a collected dust already, or just any other crockpot with any filler we choose to begin the Ambrosia cooking process. Now here's where things start getting interesting. But let's just bear in mind that Ambrosia is not food. Not to us, at least. In fact, it's pretty worthless to us at the end of the day. To other creatures, however, it's a delicacy, especially to dust moths. Also found in the ancient archives, we can feed an Ambrosia to a moth, and they will immediately return to their tidy hidey holes to tidy up, of course. Now, the process will take roughly six minutes of real time. But once it's done, we will find that Ambrosia leads to the only way in the entire game to farm dual site outside of resetting the ruins via the ancient fuel weaver fights. To add to this, lore suggests that these guys are the original producers of the stuff too, which is fun. But each tidy hidey hole will produce 3 to 7 dual side fragments, and each has a 1% chance to drop an entire dual side chunk as well. It's not bad, and incredibly repeatable too. And while that might do it for the basic need to know sort of stuff for Ambrosia, Ambrosia ain't done quite yet. Let's briefly talk Slurtle Slime production. In order for a Slurtle slash Snurtle to produce one slime, they need to eat enough minerals to reach a mineral value of 5 overall. So then, they will create one slime every five rocks, or one slime every one purple gem, as seen here, of course. But Ambrosia counts as 12.5 points of mineral value, meaning that each bite that a Slurtle slash Snurtle takes will produce two slime each. Easily the best single, non-Walter mineral around. It is expensive, however, and you do kind of eat those two and a half points every time, which is kind of weird. I feel like every other pile should be three slime. But there you have it, everyone. Just a quick bit guide on Ambrosia and its short but sweet list of uses. As I said, I really enjoy covering the little things, even if I don't necessarily benefit from it all that much. But if you've got something like this that I've missed over the years, let me know. Thanks for watching, folks. Well wishes to all, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.